Steve McQueen is the first and ultimately only single from Welsh rock band The Automatic's second album This Is A Fix, it is their fifth single overall. The track began radio and video play as of 7 July 2008 and was released on 18 August 2008. The track premiered on the 2007 NME Indie Rock Tour, along with Revolution, which later would be titled Secret Police, and was originally recorded over the final weeks of 2006 with original member of The Automatic, Alex Penny, penned to be released in April 2007, the single was for unknown reasons scrapped until 2008 when it was re-recorded with Paul Mullen as a member of the band, Origins and Recording, the track Steve McQueen was first mentioned in late 2006, after the release of the band's debut album Not Accepted Anywhere, Steve McQueen, along with another track titled Revolution had been recorded over Christmas 2006 by Rob, Frost, Ewan and Penny, the two tracks were to be released as a transition from Not Accepted Anywhere to their next studio album, Steve McQueen and and Revolution were performed throughout NME 2007 Indie Rock Tour, with bootlegs of the track appearing on YouTube, however after this for an undisclosed reason the release was scrapped, not accepted anywhere was taken overseas to the United States, where it was promoted on the band's Warped Tour, with Steve McQueen and Revolution subsequently being removed from the set list, up until Alex Penny left the band on the 18th of September 2007, after which Yorko and Amice, Milo vocalist and guitarist Paul Mullen joined the band, revamping Steve McQueen, stripping away the synthesizer and screaming vocal parts and replacing them with a second guitar and harmonizing vocals. The track was re-recorded at Sage and Sound Recordings in Los Angeles, with producer Butch Walker assisted by Ryan Hewitt. Fellow musicians Frank Turner and Chris T.T. also came to the session to provide extra percussion and vocals, along with vocals from Butch, Rob, Frost, Ewan and Paul. Composition The lyrical content of the song has been noted to be a transitional song between albums not accepted anywhere, which deals with the themes of growing up and the person experiences of the band, and this is a fix, which as a whole deals with a lot more larger stories. The title Steve McQueen is a reference to the 1963 film The Great Escape, starring actor Steve McQueen as a captured United States Air Force officer, Captain Virgil Hiltz, who tries to escape from Estalag. A lot of the themes of the first album were about growing up in a small town, because it's all we'd ever done with our lives, and Steve McQueen is the last of that, it puts it all to bed, it's about having left, Cowbridge, and then returning and just not feeling a part of the place and having moved on, Rob Hawkins talking to BBC Radio 1, S. Joe Wiley, release, NME, Designer Magazine and a BBC Radio interview with James Frost all sourced Steve McQueen for an April 2007 release, along with B-Side Revolution, both of which were recorded at Christmas 2006. This release was however dissolved for an unknown reason. Over a year passed from its original intended release in April 2007, when eventually a re-recording, with Paul Mullen replacing Alex Penny premiered on Zane Lowe's BBC Radio one show on the 7th of July 2008. Moments later a clip of the track was added to the band's MySpace and it was also announced that NME.com would be hosting the video premiere on the 8th of July. The track in its first week was added to Radio 1, SE List and Greg James Record of the Week. The release was celebrated by an in-store signing in Cardiff HMV, followed by a party in secret later on that evening in Cardiff. Due to the record labels, Polydor, Be Unique, Stupidity the single was released a day late, on the 19th of August 2008. Appearances in the media. The song has been acoustically performed for The Daily Telegraph, NME, BBC Music and The Fly, whilst also appearing live from the band on MTV Rocks Gonzo on Tour 2008, Channel 4, ST4 on the Beach 2008 and ITV's The Fashion Show. The song was also used on the Channel 4 program for Music, V Festival 2008, Formula 1, S official website for the highlight reel of the 2008 Italian Grand Prix and the soundtrack of Colin McRae, Dirt 2, Music Video. The music video was filmed filmed on the 15th of June 2008 in the Mojave Desert California, the same location used for the music videos The Killers, Don't Shoot Me Santa and The All-American Rejects, It Ends Tonight. Several pieces of the plain part seen in the music video are pieces used in the opening episodes of television series Lost. The video itself is set around a scrap yard, the Mojave Airport and Spaceport, with wreckages of planes and engines around a desert, opening with singer Rob Hawkins pushing a motorbike through the desert, a reference to McQueen's film The Great Escape. The video continues to show the band playing in the scrap yard as well as walking around it, and as the video progresses the band are put through a sandstorm. The video was directed by Paul Miner, who has previously directed videos for Queens of the Stone Age. Reception Fraser McAlpine of BBC Radio 1 Chart Blog gave the single three-fifths saying, a muscular reworking of the band's trademark sound, only without the really trademark noise, Alex Penny's screams, which leaves them sounding a bit like just another rock band, but a million percent less irritating than they used to Alex Fletcher of Digital Spy wrote with a beefed-up arsenal.
arsenal of guitars and a snarling, infectious chorus, Steve McQueen, is a brilliant slice of old-fashioned rock giving it four-fifths Nicole Kenny of Manchester Evening News also gave the single four-fifths in a nutshell Steve McQueen is a raucous rock song with a very addictive chorus that will get you singing along on the first hear of it Sean Smith and James Davies of the Blackout praised the band in rock sound, saying I like it, they've grown up, it's catchy, with James saying it's a bit more chunky than their earlier stuff, well done. Good effort. Chart performance. Steve McQueen marked the Automatic's fourth appearance in the UK Top 40, peaking at 16 in the UK Singles Chart hence also making it their second UK Top 20 single. It dropped a place to 17 the following week, then to 29 in its third week and dropped out of the Top 40 altogether in its fourth week. Track listing. Personnel. Production. Butch Walker. Producer. Backing vocals. Percussion. Ryan Hewitt. Engineer. Stephen Harris. Mixing. Richard Jackson. Mixing of B-Sides Young Entrepreneurs. Big Ideas. In This World. Musicians. Chris T.T. Vocals. Percussion. Frank Turner. Vocals. Percussion. Paul Mullen. Vocals. Guitar. Synthesizer. Percussion. James Frost. Vocals. Guitar. Synthesizer. Percussion. Robin Hawkins. Lead vocals. Bass guitar. Percussion. Ewan Griffiths. Vocals. Drums. Percussion. Alex Penny. Co-writer. Synthesizers. Vocals. Percussion in original version. Artwork. David Bailey. Graphics. Artwork. Sean Bloodworth. Photography.